All right, welcome to episode 31 of the Sonata Chronicles vlog. You may notice it's just me today. Charles had to work late, and I spent most of the day um, taking care of my personal life and working on script rewrites, so our schedules didn't quite match up. So you get you get a little bit of me. Um, let's see. So you may be able to see just a little bit of the monitor behind me. Striking the Water got a new editing system. She's not super top performance, but she's got it where it counts, and, uh, and she'll allow us to make these vlogs look a little bit better in the future after this episode, and uh, maybe we'll be doing some stuff through Striking the Water, some web series, or, you know, some other things we can edit together on there. Um, also, today we uh, entered the Bard Center business plan competition, so that's exciting. Uh, we'll be putting our business chops and our film up against uh, other Colorado entrepreneurs um, in the hopes of in the hopes of competing and winning some prizes, getting some publicity. That's the biggest thing, you know. If you're if you're working on movies and films or anything, the best thing you can do is win some stuff especially if it's related to that. So enter your scripts and contests, um, enter, you know, business plans and business plan competitions, uh, shorts and festivals, you know, the shorts, it's debatable whether the shorts should be related to the feature you're trying to do. I always say no, because if you can tell the same story in 15 minutes that you tell in two hours, why would anybody want to see the 15 minutes? Um, why would anybody want to see the two hours? Um, but some people say it's good for getting for getting investment. I think if you're 15 minutes short, once people, it leaves people wanting more and it's phenomenal that can work, but if it's just good, uh, you're probably shooting yourself in the foot. But, you know, if you got the resources, give it a try. Um, so, we're going to enter in the business plan competition, be revising the business plan from last year, adding the other two films in like we've been talking about, and we'll see where that goes. We're in it to win it, though, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so today we're going to talk about the PC games for the remainder of the episode. Uh, the purpose of these is to give the audience a bit more of a an inclusive and immersive experience of the film. So, you know, and at the same time, add to the films with more lore and more history for people that may start there. So, you know, we talked about the social game. The social game will feed in some vanity elements, some money, you know, some some money, you know, character creator will be available in the in the PC game, uh, in the social game, and those things will transfer over into the PC game. And the PC games will be something, you know, high story RPG, something akin to Back in the day, Knights of the Old Republic. Um, you know, Mass Effect is a little more action-y, but, you know, that's a more modern example. Um, but those, you know, Chrono Trigger, those big high story um, RPGs that don't really get made much anymore. So we're going to, that's our goal is to make an RPG with a story that's involving, that's entertaining. And that is timed in a way so that each time a chapter, you know, a game or a chapter gets released, that it plays off of the film, the film that's getting released around. So, you know, the first one will end and you'll think you'll have a good idea of where things are going and who's who, and then you'll see the film and it'll totally flip your perspective and you'll be like, but how does that work out? And then the next chapter shows you how it works out and then the one after that, lead you because I'm a big fan of suspense in films and in in media and I don't like force feeding my audience the plot so I like to keep you guessing keep you with questions until the very end and so we're going to use the games to kind of heighten that for people that p take part in the games and the films where the the game set up one assumption and then the films have another assumption and the two things collide and out of that comes a greater understanding of the world and the history so so i'm going to talk about today we'll have more on the pc games next time probably 
maybe some more news on other things that are going on. And have a great day. And uh, remember to send us your comments or questions. And, um, and you know, it really helps when you give us a like or a share. I hate to be uh, begging for it, but I am. Have a good night.